Look at this! I've been obsessively digging. I think about, wait, let me show you. F3 and G shows you the chunk borders. I've dug out six, no, nine chunks because I wasn't sure where the, where the slime chunk was. F3, G. I can never remember that. Uh, G is for give me the slime. Give me the slime! I'm not even sure what you use it for. <laughs> Hello, hello you, internet person. Oh, you are looking handsome today. Did you get a haircut? It's looking snazzy. Welcome back to Minecraft, finally. And kind of sorry, uh, I had a little bit of real life stuff on the menu the last few days and didn't really get to record Minecraft, but we're back at it now. And before we get started today with the big old project that is our cave, hoo hoo, still a lot to do here, but I'm confident that we're getting it done today today by the way i left this vine here first of all because it was a little bit too lazy and second of all look this is perfect for uh showcasing stuff and for reaching the the roots and doing stuff up here it's perfect it is absolutely perfect and i plan to do this hello hello axolotl before we get started in here i wanted to show you my progress on the tunnel to the mesa we have a little train station here, overgrown as usual, as the rest of the whole cave is. And, well, the first part that is done is also functional. Whoop. The tunnel is very long, so I'm not completely finished. But I think I can get finished relatively soon. Well, this is nothing nothing special. This is just a tunnel. Whee! And that's it. <laughs> We have a ways to go. This is about a tenth of the of the um, of the distance we have to go. But this is a really casual, relaxed side project for me. Now, um, how do we begin? There's a tiny little logistics problem that we have, and that it's mostly because of this guy. Because first of all, we only have one. The other one got hurt by an iron golem. The thing that I was worrying about all the time. It finally happened. One of those guys spawned an iron golem, and oh, by the way, I got those two. To master and now we have this iron trade which is neat but we have to get him out here obviously and i thought about well well maybe i should do the fisherman's cave because i was planning to dig a cave into this direction little bit of a cave with a lake inside and a pier um maybe i can build this first get him in there then build the rest get him back and well yeah you know <laughs> it's complicated but i don't want him to get hurt because then Things get, uh, so let's get going with this, the fishy boys. Hmm, now this is the base idea. Not very spectacular. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just a little, um, pier style thingy over here. And I hope that if I start digging here to get this cave going, that I don't accidentally hit the kitchen because somewhere behind here might actually be... Right, let's see. Uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> That's way more than we'll need for, for this cave. Okay, let me let me get going. This is actually not a good thing to, to try to get a time lapse on. Let's see, let's see. And this is as far as I'm willing to dig. I think this should be fine. There's enough room for a little building for fishy boys over here. And this nice little pond thingy over here. And, oh god, the terraforming <laughs> has gotten a little bit out of hand again. Yeah, well, I'm going to start with, with the building, I guess. Now, look at this. This is how, how far I've been digging the thing out and I started, I think this is it actually, experimenting around with the fisherman's hut, which is relatively difficult to get something done in this tiny space here. Um, yeah, we have a little pier that will relatively soon lead into, uh, lead to this tiny lake. We um, have a lot of greenery that is not yet finished. I have to, yeah, get the ceiling done, terraform. Um, but those guys should have everything in here that they need. I will obviously close this up. Well, they have a little sitting bench over here to, to yeah, sit around, drink a beer, talk about um, 
fishing, obviously. <laughs> they have their barrels, which are their workstations, and I can fish in here myself. So that is that. Whilst I take care of the water situation here, I quickly wanted to address something, yeah, relatively important and probably time critical and probably very obvious by now because around the day that this video will be released, I think um, Minecraft version 1.18 will be out. Not yet for me because I'm obviously recording earlier, but it should be out then and well, this is kind of the elephant in the room and I just wanted to yeah, inform you about my plans. So essentially I will not be updating this world. That doesn't make sense to me. I need my, my replay mod for example, which probably won't be updated for quite a bit. I also have explored so much of this world, it would take me quite a while to find chunks that are generated with the new world generation thingy. So. This will not be a 1.18 world, but on the other hand, we are, well, getting along quite nicely. This world, after we finish, well, building our base and setting up everything we need to, sooner or later we will head to the nether and to the end. And my final goal for this is slaying the end dragon, because that is... Well, what I want to do in a hardcore world, I just want to see if I can do it. I might I might fail, I don't know. But I want to try. And at that point, there should be everything I need for 1.18 or even the second part of the update could have released because there's still stuff missing in case you didn't know the biome, the deep dark and the warden and some some of the remaining remaining stuff is not in this update yet but will come somewhere I think they said the beginning of 2022 that would be the ideal point in time to start my survival world in a 1.18 or then 1.19 world. That's what I want to do. So, for the moment, no new world generation in this world, but soonish. Just so you know. And now for some finishing touches. Oh, look at this, guys. I like it. I really do. I've been trying to incorporate more browns in this one. This is way more reddish and warm than the the main cave and i think i think i like the idea of um the cave walls being like like half stone half half dirt um let's see we have drip leaf i actually would like to use some drip leaf in the water maybe hmm can i place it on moss can I place you on moss? Yeah. Okay, a little bit of drip leaf. And I wonder how vines will look. Ew! Oh, they are the um, this dark green mountain color. I'm not sure if I like this. We'll see how it looks when it when it spreads. But ew, I think I will not keep that. Boop, boop just behind here to get a little bit more background texture behind this um, stalagmite thingy, stalactite thingy, yeah. <laughs> now villagers. There we go. Now next step, um, zombifying. We have enough for two rounds of um, zombifying. But I'm really, really scared because, because this guy He's an endangered species right now. Um, take uh, their boat and follow me. <laughs> Do I have armor on? Yeah, I have armor on. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me into there. And you please don't spawn anything. Anything nasty. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Take this. Okay. And now the usual stuff. Be right back. Okay, let's go. They are de zombified twice. Twice. And our little boy is hidden away there so we can in the next step build undisturbed. Now you should retake your profession. Ah dang it, and you still climb up here. I thought I 
place down all the honey I needed. Probably I have to take this one down. Give me a second. Wait, 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 wait. We need to take care of the honey situation. Like it is, because I really do not want them jumping around like this. That seems inefficient to me, and now they cannot eh, 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 get on the on the chair. Look at this trait. Oh, this is so good. How easy are you to level? You, hmm. Hmm. I would like to have both of you have the cold trait, you know. Which is why I want to redo this. And maybe you retake your profession. To which one are you... Oh dear. This might take a little bit. I just want to reset him until he has the cold trade. Let's see. Boom. No, boom. Now you go boom. You got it? You got it. Let's lock you in. Wonderful. That didn't take as long as I thought. Oh, wonderful. Okay, and now we can, first of all, level those guys up a little bit. Mm, oh, look, we can buy campfires. That is neat. Don't know what for, but we but we have them. <gasps> oh, this, look, wow. This is so good. Um, Luck of the sea, unbraiding. Unbraiding, mm-hmm, unbreaking. <laughs> Let's just store this stuff here for now. And maybe replace the signage. Boom. Okay, now, you guys, do your thing here. Don't mind the, the, the acoustics, there's nothing to worry about. And I, I get this going. And you know, <laughs> I'm already really afraid of the ceiling building upside down, that is just terrible. Okay, let's get going. Do you remember this? It's been a little while. <laughs> but for what I'm about to show you, we need a lot of raw chicken. Yo, guys, you stay with me. Nobody's going to eat the And the cows as well. I've been breeding all of them twice. So now we should have a good bit of meat to trade and other stuff. Oh, I've been so busy, guys. Give me, give me, give me a second. quite a bit. <laughs> Gotta refill it also. Oh boy. This is a lot of meat. This is a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of meat and a lot of feathers. No, I don't want to eat that. Thank you. Don't want to eat that. Want to make new chickies. That's what I want. And now the moosh pit. Oh, I actually want to only crit them by jumping because eh, this is not good. This makes them fly over the fence if I'm, if I'm unlucky. And we wouldn't want any SKPs, would we? Hey, I see you. Run whilst you still can. No, this is quite the haul. Okay. What are you doing here? Hey, this is not how things work here. Whoop. Okay, I think we are done here, <clears throat> ma'am. Ta-da! Please ignore the the um, not completed ceiling. This is oh, the mammoth project that I have to take care of after I show you around. But for the moment, I am done bringing villagers here. Hello, we have a little butchers here with their with the smokers and this. I thought this sort of looked like a, a grill stand for, for, well, where you can get your, your burgers and your whatnot. Let's see what those guys get. Of course, 
make squishy sounds because there's honey underneath those elm carpets. Carpets is the word. Yeah, good English. <laughs> oh, oh, we cannot really level them further. Let's wait until they are reset. And then we probably can level them further with with chicken. Okay, you are already 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 ready. <laughs> I'll take that. You take it this and you take it this. And you are not leveled up right now. Come on. Refill. Refill. Okay, whilst we are waiting for those guys. This in here is probably the most productive emerald generating thing I have. But um well one one second, I'm very proud of the decoration in here. <laughs> I like it. It it looks like nothing I've seen before, but I I still like it. <laughs> um I used to have five guys in here, but during the process of um, zombifying and de-zombifying, I ran out of golden apples. Or out of gold, to be more precise. And those two guys, well, I have to wait <laughs> until I have gold. Then I can get them in there and then we will have five perfectly de-zombified villagers with wonderful trades. Even though this guy doesn't seem to go down much more. Doesn't matter, everything is here. One, one pumpkin for one emerald, one beetroot for one emerald. And I just keep trading, 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 trading. And I keep buying, buying, buying golden carrots. And if you, if you notice, down here I have 61 levels, which is fine. Now we have those guys here, the leather workers, with their little stand and their... Yeah, Amo stands here with their, with their produce, with their product. Um, they are doing what they're doing. It's a little bit of a pain to level them up. I should be okay. Maybe I get I'll get some flint and level them with that. Not sure if we will even get something worth our time, but <laughs> we have them. We now have every profession in here. And I am proud of it. To be honest. This thing is very close to complete. We have the librarians, we have the enchanting set up in here, we have the whole smithing area with, in case you, whoop, maybe you noticed, the roof is, wait, wait, here, the roof is starting to, to oxidize and it's starting to look great. I love it. I'll have to wax that relatively soon so we don't only have this kind of copper but also this kind of copper. We'll, we'll see about that maybe in the next episode, I don't know. We have the fishy boys. This cave is wonderful and in this style, in this style, I will now have to take care of the rest of the ceiling. We are about 50% done. Oh boy, I'm, I'm a little bit scared of this. This is always a pain in the buttocks to, to do. There's so much detail, you have to think about every block. And honestly, this part of the ceiling took me about two hours. Cave took me about... Well, the, the whole cave took me about four hours, maybe. And this part here, those three buildings, including the zombification and de-zombification of the villagers, plus the villager transport, all of that took me about eight hours. So this is by far the most time-consuming time thing I've, I've ever done. Maybe apart from the, from the big ship that I built in, during my first series, but I'm not, I'm not sure about that because there I had help. Let's see if they... Yes, you buy beef! You buy the beef! You take the beef. The beef is good for you. Can I now finally sell you... Sweet berries? That would be dandy. Come on, you reset and you buy more beef, okay? I would love to... To give you some beef. No? Not yet. Let's see. We can also trade feathers over here. Boy, oh boy, we can practically sell everything. Everything that we gather is somehow sellable. And this is such a massive effort, this, this whole cave here. Such a piece of work, but it's totally, it's totally worth it. Now, for the final sprint, the finishing touches to make this project finally complete. I've prepared, wait. Everything I'll need, I guess, for the roof. I probably need some some more dirt and stuff. But that should be everything. How did you get out? 
Uh, I've just been I've just been placing honey down there beyond the carpet, and he must have snuck out behind me. But I'm sure he will he will find his way back now. I have no idea how long this will take, and I'm very very sorry that this episode takes so long to produce because there's right now there's eight days of nothing on my channel, and I'm so sorry. But I want to to finish it. I want to to get it going. I want to do other stuff. So let's let's finish this episode off with one final time lapse. Tell you what, this was one heck of a project, but look at it, look at it in all its splendor and glory. Oh my, I'm done with the ceiling and this took hours, <laughs> but it was totally worth it. I also surrounded the lake with a lot of stalactites and stalactites just to frame it in a little bit more. Also, to have something um, in front of the backside of this cartographer's door, so this wouldn't look that naked, I've taken a few of the light sources from way up there in the ceiling down, because they just didn't make that much sense. Put um, the glow berries with the light sources downwards a little bit, and just in general put more greenery up. And I tried to keep big parts of the cave more brown than gray, just because that gives it a cozier, warmer feeling, more of a cave feeling. The too much gray can look quite cold. Honestly, I'm just so glad this project is done because that is that is what I am. I'm done. <laughs> That's it. We got our library. We got our cartographers, our brewery boys. This midi over here that is now perfectly oxidized and waxed so it stays that way we have a fishy boys that are still there thank god i had to switch out the cartographers um in between because for some reason the original ones just vanished i don't know how i don't know why it doesn't matter we have those guys here that actually take sweet berries for one sweet berry one emerald which is quite a deal we still have to install two more farmy boys but that that is easy as soon as we have gold and we have our leather boys. Also the Fletchers, the Shepherds and all of the Sheepies. Just a cave. That is the, in my opinion, perfect villager cave. I can't think of anything more to add. If you can think of anything, please let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It took quite the effort to finally, finally get it done. Leave me a like if you, if you, if you like what you've seen. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.